Good day, everyone. Hope you have a lovely day. So, what do we have today? We have a cell phone to repair. This cell phone came in like this. Uh, this is a cell phone that is coming from another computer cell phone repair shop. Uh, and what the technician is saying, he's saying the, lab, the phone is working fine, but it's not charging. Huh? So, we have to see what's going on here. But he explained to me, I know everything, what the problem with this phone. Uh, the phone came in open like this. So let's see together. We have this phone. This is an Huawei Mate 20 Lite that came in for repair. We have the main board. We have the battery. We have... Um, this is the flex charging panel, which is supposed to be here for, for charging. And here, we have the flex cable here that is connecting the charging, the, the, the charging circuit panel with the main board. That's the flex cable here. And uh, the problem is the connector is missing. There's no connector here, which is supposed to connect this flex. This flex has to connect this far end and to the main board. Here, the connector is missing. So what the customer, he bring two panels. I should take this connector here and put it here. And uh, the job will be done. So he said, I tried to do it at my own. He melted two, three connectors. And he, he said, you know what? Uh, let me send it to you if you can help. So let's see under microscope. What do you have under microscope? That the original panel, charging panel, uh, with the missing connector here. So obvious, this phone won't charge. Well, the connector is missing here. And this is uh, another one for space. So we have to take out this connector and put it here. Huh? Are we able to do this? Are we able to do this? How we can do this? What I want to do, I want to take out this connector. Here. Um, that is the first step. That is our first step to take out this connector here. I'll come with the heat from the from the bottom because I don't want to melt the connector. You can see. But I, what I want to do is just to come with what air from the bottom. The connector is out. Now let's go on a microscope. And I'll see if this is the right connector. Uh, we have to check.
this looks like the right connector but before I put the connector let's do something here let's do something uh, let's come with the new solder Uh, the tip is very dirty but uh, that's not a problem that's not a problem flux let's clean All, all the puzzle looks fine so, so now what we have to do what we have to do is very simple we need to come with the the connector that is our connector FPC connector. Uh, let's align this. Alignment that is the, the tricky point because we have to align this properly. Something like that. Huh? Something like that. And you put more flux because you don't want to melt anything. Like that. The next stage is to come with the hot air here we need less temperature less temperature less air so that we won't melt anything Come on. I think we are done. Huh?
Pazingwata. That's all what you have to do. So, here the issue is about is about a in temperature because I was using two hundred ninety degrees in very less air to ensure that I won't damage anything. Huh? Now it's time to test. We have to test. Uh, the pins. The connector looks solid. Looks solid. So I think it's time to test. It's time to test to see if we have win this repair or not. Let's see. Let's see if this in let's see if we now have a charging phone. Any connector? Okay, what I will do, I will plug in the charger, we have the USB meter on top, I will plug the charger, It's not charging. Maybe five, four. Well, this is some kind of a discharged battery. Different cable. We have seen 5 million, so that give me the, the energy, you know. We know that we have done the job nicely. Okay, let's wait. Let's check the voltage on the battery connector to see what do we have. Okay. It's not working. Wow. So what I want to do, let's clean this a little bit. I want to I want to clean this connector not too much
Uh, even if this phone is going to charge, we have a secondary fault. You can see the battery is swollen. Uh, this is a faulty battery. So I don't think we can see anything. But what we want to do, we just want to test if the con if that connector is now working, is now sending five volts to the main board. That's very important. Uh, plug in the charger. You see, I saw something on the screen. See the battery sign. Huh? Check the current here. We have 10 milliamps, 7 milliamps. Check the current on the multimeter, on the USB power meter there. We have 8. Uh, if I move the charger, we have 0. We have 27. And the battery, the battery charging sign is indicating on the screen. You see why this is happening? This is happening because we have a swollen battery. The battery is dead. So in our case, the the whole idea of this video was about how you can replace replace any FPC connector. Uh, obvious, I'm sure if the customer changes the battery, we must have a working um, phone. But you can't test, and I don't have another battery. But the fact that you have seen something like dead current, a little bit of standby current, it means the phone is trying to charge, but because of a faulty battery, it can't take too much current. You see the battery sign is indicating. That's a good sign of a bad battery. Okay? So, yeah. That's the thing. So, I'll stop this video now. Like, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for future updates. Also, share our videos to a to beloved friends and relatives. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.